what's up guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome so <laughs> it's been a very long time since i actually you know sat down and did a whole video and posted but we're here today we're getting back on this i miss you all i miss doing this i'm in my daughter's room she's 13 or whatever so just don't mind the background but her desk is right in front of a window so i need this lighting i hope you all are doing good today i'm gonna do a little it's a simple makeup barely any products for me this is called the what clean girl makeup whatever that's what we're doing today this is like when i need to be out the door but i want to look put together this is what i do it's very easy and it's simple especially for beginners for those of you who are just learning or wanna you know just do a little something so this is for you so everything i took out is drugstore except for two i don't have drugstore mascara and i don't have drugstore setting powder but i used to i used to because if you look back to my old videos my makeup collection was ridiculous it was like i had all 10 sephora together it was ridiculous but things happen i literally had to get rid of 90 percent of my makeup collection so what i have is very little so soon soon i'll be able to get things here and there that i used to enjoy that i don't have anymore so that's that so for the brows we are going to be using the nyx nyx professional makeup micro brow pencil it's like this so i've been posting shorts because you know before i was like before i sit down let me get this you know thing going so I've been posting shorts if you guys haven't checked that out if you guys subscribe i would really appreciate it and give this video a thumbs up your girls trying to you know i enjoy this so if i could get somewhere with it why not right so usually i just brush my brows up just like that and all i do is i fill in whatever i feel is necessary So I go up on this brow because the hairs on this brow in the front, it goes this way. And these are just naturally up like that. So got to try. Remember, brows are sisters and, and sometimes cousins. They're not twins. But we try. We try to get them as close as we can. So this is what I do. and then just fill in. Um, the description box below will have every product and the shade, if it has a shade of what I used. So you guys could always check that out. And that's literally what I do. Cause remember, um, we wanna look natural. Like if we don't have like a lot of product on. So that's all I'm doing to my so that's all I'm doing to my brows. So, how you guys been? What y'all up to? Let me know. I know I've been gone for like two years. A lot has happened. A lot of changes. We had to move. Um we were when we moved out here to florida we were renting the house we were living in this this brow i gotta fill up on the top this one's naturally like full this one is just as you can see it's just it's just sad it's sad so anyways we were renting there for like five years um landlord whatever situation he had he had to sell the home and the company that bought it was basically like, yeah, I got two months. And this is at a time where rent and everything was going sky high. And it was, it was just hard. It was hard to find a spot. So 
we had to move in with my sister and I basically had to sell everything. My furniture, makeup that I had to test and all that I never got to touch. I sold that. I gave the rest that was still in great condition away to my friend. She took it. Everything. My whole setup I had sold everything. We had to start from literally nothing. So trust me, <laughs> I know what it is to have and I know what it is to lose it all. And where we at right now is not where we want to be. We're working on getting there, but I am happy. I'm content. God has blessed us. And I know we will get there. So that's it for the brows. Usually, you know, you could clean it in the bottom with concealer to give it that nice, clean, clean look. But I'm going to leave it like this, okay? If it's not smudgy in the bottom, then no. But usually I do clean it up when I'm doing full face and we're doing eyeshadow and all of that. So now the e.l.f. primer for, hydra for hydration. I really have dry skin. So. so yeah, so dealing with all of that and going to work and dealing with the kids and school and stuff, it was it was a lot. It was a lot. So I took a step back. And I just, you know, life hit and that was that. It was time to get the ball rolling. But now, you know, we back, we back, we are back. So now I'm going to use, don't mind the top, it looks disgusting. Is the NYX Bear With Me Concealer in the shade Golden. I'm lit literally just gonna do like half a pump because we don't want to get too crazy. I'm gonna use, this is the brush I use for concealer. This is the Morphe and Jaclyn JH08. I'm picking it up. And we're just gonna do the under eye, little the chin around here, wherever you have like red dark spots. Um, If you have little pimples you wanna cover. <laughs> and that's that. And then you just blend, 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 blend. <laughs> this concealer, I like it. It's nice. It blends nice. And it really, I mean, I always set it. But it doesn't crease like that. I like it a lot. We went to the beach yesterday, so I'm like, I'm tanned and I'm tired. It's like anything that has to do with being in the heat all day is draining. It is draining. And that, that's it. That's it. Now, if you feel like you need more concealer and you want to put a little more, you can. But I'm fine. I'm fine just like this. And one thing about my channel is... I always say it, what you see is what you get. I'm not about the whole fitting into society. I'm not about uh, doing what society expects you to do or trying to fit in into the trend and all. No. What you see is what you get. So this is me. And if you bump into me ever, this is me. Like, I'm not about to sit here and use filters and do all of that nonsense. I'm not doing it. So... It, it's just not me. I can't sit here and do that. I don't have a drugstore powder. So what I use is the Huda. I've been using the Huda powder for about three years straight. You're so nice. So I literally just pick up a little bit and was on the brush. We don't want to overpack. Again, I have dry skin. If you have dry skin, you should not be baking. You should not be baking if you have dry skin. So we just putting where we put that concealer and we just tapping just to seal everything in. So there's no creasing and everything stays in place. And that is it. Now for blush, we're gonna use a cream blush. 
and that is from flower beauty looks like this a little goes a long way i'm telling you like i'm just gonna that's it that's probably a little too much and that's gonna give for both sides again i tanned right now so i'm not i don't have to do bronzer um bronzer <laughs> bronzer it, i already have everything dark like just with the concealer it lightened it so it I look bronze already. So this is from ColourPop, a nice stippling brush. Just pick some up. I smudge it on the back of my hand. Smile. <laughs> Smile. And I just, you know, I love blush. I love that cold look. Put some on the nose. And then the rest. You see <laughs> where have you been girl it's cold outside is it cold or is it summer and that's it that's it one once you get the hang of this it's like that you could literally do this in five minutes pushing it to ten if it's not coming out the way you want it but so fast so now for highlight we're gonna use makeup revolution you have different tones here very pretty so for highlight I always use the A23 from Anastasia but whatever you have works um, we're going to pick this shade up and then listen I wear highlight all year round I cannot wear highlight like you see that highlight is my thing It just melts. I like highlight that melts into the skin, making it look wet. I don't use highlight with shimmer or glitter. I don't. It's not for me. And that's it. Yes, away. It's away. Okay. So now we're gonna take the NYX um brow gel. Let. So I use the Elf one. I used it for about four years straight. I tried this because I finished the elf and I was like, you know why? It's time for me to dip my toes in something else. Girl, this ain't no going back from it. This is just, oh, it is awesome. And it makes your brows look like it is like laminated. So I brush everything up like that. And then I just, on the top, I push the hairs down. That's what I do with my brows. And that's how it stays. You guys can let me know like what y'all wanna see or um, what y'all, like, I'm not a professional, obviously. I'm self-taught <laughs> I learned with YouTube but if you have any questions or you want to learn certain techniques or like how I do certain things just let me know let me know and we'll film that and then now mascara again I don't have a drugstore mascara so this is what it is and it's the Lancome you guys are gonna see it you see my lashes right now you can't can't see them <laughs> but wait until I put these on so when I do this I do not put mascara on my bottom lash I try to keep it fresh and clean now I do put on my bottom lash again if I'm doing a full face or we're doing eyeshadow that's when that comes in so <sighs> we'll get that out if that happens let it dry before you remove it because if it's wet it's gonna smudge and it's just gonna be bad so let it just sit there let it sit there let it sit there Ooh. 
this mascara. So what I do, this little brush from the brow pencil, I tend to just pass it so that the hairs could spread out the way I want them to. That's it. Do you guys see that? Let me tell you, this mascara, love it. I love it. And it doesn't flake. That's why it's hard for me. Like, if you have a drugstore mascara recommendation that does not flake, like the one I use, I used a lot was the L'Oreal Telescopic, but I like wands that are like this because I feel like they fluff up the lashes more. So if you use one that has the wand like that, let me know. That does not flake because I can't stand a mascara that flakes. And that is it. That is that. Those are, that's what I do to the lashes. Um. So if you got to clean the top or anything, best thing to do it with is with a Q-tip. So I'm going to go clean that and I'll be right back. Okay, so I cleaned that out. I clipped my hair back. Um, I know, you know, you could do the slick back, but I just washed my hair yesterday and we're not about to ruin the curls just yet. So <laughs> um, last thing, this is a lip oil I use by the Ulta um, brand juice infused awesome so good so now i'm just gonna line and fill in my lips with the milani um color statement this is in 03 nude this is like the closest thing to my my lip color so again giving it some color but making it look natural and right on top of that lip oil i'm gonna do that that's that that is that so this is my quick easy um out the door makeup but not doing too much but you have it's nice and clean um very easy especially again for beginners i'm gonna be doing more videos with more you know doing more stuff but that was easy for me because, you know, at first I used to stress, like, I want to learn but don't know how and stuff until I worked what was best for me. And that's one of the important things. Learn what works for you. Learn what works for your face. Get to know your skin. And it'll make things a lot easier. I promise you. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Turn on that notification, the bell, so you can be notified when I upload um i am gonna be posting shorts just so like you know letting people know the full videos on the channel so i hope you guys have a blessed day and as always jesus loves you i love you that's that <laughs> until next time bye